All right, here I'm back with the second part of this video. And today I'm going to tell you how to install uh, softwares and games uh, on Linux, Windows software and Windows game on Linux. And by the way, if you are on Mac, most of the commands works on Mac too. So if you have the latest wine, you may be able to, to may be able to play also Windows games on Mac. The how wine works is the same for every platform you know all right before uh no actually yeah i'm going to open my terminal uh, my browser and i'm going to first i'm going to explain what you can expect from wine thunderbird i don't need it all right i mean if you're using wine pretending or expecting to play the latest Windows game, you are not going to succeed, all right? For example, if you want to play Fallout 4, you are not going to be able to play Fallout 4 because the Wine development focuses mostly on DirectX 9 and on everything that's up to DirectX 9. So Direct DirectX 10 and DirectX 11 are still in development and you won't try you won't actually you won't be able to to play fluent uh, let's see yeah fluently all right or without problem a direct x10 game for example i typed just cause and to show you an example so just cause one works fine using wine and i know actually i know that because i I tried it already, but if you want to to check if a game is run, if a game doesn't run, you can go, for example, on Steam or on GOG and check the system requirements. Here, as you can see, it says 100% DirectX 9 compatible. All right. Also on the recommend, actually it doesn't. Yeah, there it is. On the recommends, it says DirectX 9. So here you know that the game is using DirectX 9 and then you have many chances that it works. If we go on just code 2, for example, there it says even on minimum that the game uses DirectX 10 compatible graphics. So this game uses DirectX 10 and this game is not gonna work on Linux using Wine as for today maybe in a, I don't know five months or one year everything's going to change but as of the 5th of November 2016 you won't be able to play just cause 2 you may be able to you know run something to see something but you won't be able to get 60 FPS stable uh, using Wine all right this is just an example all right I'm already on Steam, so I'm going to download Steam, which probably I already had. Yes, yeah, Steam setup. There it is. So I'm not gonna download it. You can download it, the, the Windows version, and then right now I'm going to show you how Wine works. All right. To do so, I'm gonna draw something. So maybe it will be easier for everyone and uh, before we start you have to think about uh, the wine game uh, windows game or windows softwares other software let's say as a chinese book all right so you speak english your main language is english your environment so linux is in english and you have there a chinese book so you open this book and you see some strange characters and you have absolutely no idea on how to read it. You do not understand what, what's written inside, so it's useless for you. All right. So what Wine do, does is actually it gives you the, the ability to understand, so to, to be able to read this uh, foreigner language, let's say. All right. So on Linux, you will be able to use Wine softwares all, all uh, always and uh, uh, 
only with wine. If you're not using wine, you'll not be able to play games, even if you install the game with wine, but then you always need to use wine, all right? Because Linux doesn't know about software, about Windows software. Wine knows about Windows software, all right? So you maybe understand this better later. Now I want to no micro impact. All right, let's make it 28. So here we have wine. Let's make it 20. All right. So in the previous video, you probably installed wine or uh, wine staging or wine Galio 9. And now we can start using it. To use wine, it's quite easy, nothing crazy. We just need to type wine and then uh, uh, an, uh, an installer, all right, or something else. Actually, uh, most of the time you want to run an installer, but if, the, if a software has no installer, you just want to run the X file. All right, to do so, uh, wine actually creates a wine prefix, all right? And I'll take Steam as an example. So I'm going to call this wine prefix Steam. And I'm going to make this wine prefix 64-bit. Uh, Why not? All right. Now, by default, wine creates uh oop oh let me actually let me move this guy more here by default if you don't tell uh, wine a specific prefix prefix is it, is it going he is going to install this prefix in a home folder called dot wine all right i think i have already uh, this folder on my yeah yes there it is so i'm gonna remove it all right i'm gonna to create a new one to do so i can just for example say wine config and then as you can see it created the configuration directory home user dot wine so if you don't uh, specify a prefix wine is going to use the default prefix all right which is dot wine if dot wine is not there wine is going to create it and if you also don't tell the specific architecture wine is going to is going to create a 64-bit architecture all right now i'll show you how to create all right and there it is <clears throat> now i'll show you how to create and how to install this steam on a dedicated steam uh, yeah steam prefix all right so to do so yeah actually i have a problem because dot steam is already there so i'm going just to name it uh, dot test steam all right by I, I will refer it as steam all right as you can see here i told wine please wine use this wine prefix which is in my home folder. This same symbol means my home folder. And the prefix is going to be called test-steam, all right? The prefix actually is not there, so it's going to be created. And it's going to be created by default, let me clear, it's going to be created a 64-bit version because I am using a 64-bit uh, operation system. If you want to use, if you want to create a 32-bit prefix, you have to type wine arch equal win32. So 
For a 32-bit prefix, you will need to add this this uh, variable here. So win arch equal win 32. I'm not, so I'm not gonna write it. All right. Then I'll tell wine, and I always need to to use wine. All right. This always need to be there when you want to run a foreigner software. All right. Let's call it foreigner. Then I'm going to uh, Steam Setup. All right. Then I'm going to tell Wine to uh, launch the Steam Setup, which is on my download folder. Folder. Yeah. So to before running to recapitulate, Wine prefix test dash Steam. So Wine is going to go there and check if the prefix is already there. If it is not there, it's going to create it. There is no uh, wine arch, there is no architecture specified, so it's going to be a 64-bit architecture. Then I'm going to tell you, hey, wine, please run the Steam setup. All right. When I run it, you can see that wine configuration home user dot test dash Steam is being updated. Please wait. So first it creates the prefix, then does what I, I tell uh, what I told wine to do so to run the steam setup so here I told wine a hey, wine please go and create a 64 bit version a 64 bit prefix which then uh, <clears throat> I'm going to install steam all right and actually wine here it's it's going to install Steam, which we can put here, steam.exe. Actually, I'll put it capital because it is capital. Then, suck. All right, so from this prefix, we are going to run Steam. And here is the Steam setup. If you are coming from uh, Windows, you sure remember this, this one because exactly the same. I want to accept and blah, blah, blah. English, it's it's fine. Actually, here very important thing. You can uh, you know if a prefix is uh, actually let me open this. Then uh -oh. yes, just a second. Home user. <laughs> all right never mind <laughs> all right you understand if uh or actually you know when a prefix 64 bit if you see this one so x86 this means the program files in the the 32 bit program files so in a wine pref in that wine prefix you will have program files for 62 bit version and program files x86 for a 32-bit version when there is just program files it means that the the prefix is a 32-bit prefix all right so very important thing in my opinion is to to install stuff uh, as close as the C drive as possible so you don't have to to go there and find or to open too many folder before the, the 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 X file or before what you need to run, so I can install Steam right now and actually I will run Steam. Yeah, Steam is updating and this looks like just as it looks on Windows, you know. You maybe find this very familiar. Not sure, let me. All right, so it's updating. And actually it's very important that you, and I don't need this anymore. It's very important that you run a Pinta. Uh, all right. It's very important that you run uh, everything on your terminal so that you, 
you have some debugs because Wine is going to debug a lot and it's going to tell you what's the problem in the terminal. All right. To understand what's a problem with Wine, with some software running through Wine, most of the time you are going to understand it from the terminal. Actually, what the hell is my... All right, Steam is updating. There it is. All right. Right now you will just want to log in and you want to log your username, you your username your pass you can press tab and without using the mouse you know from here you press tab you enter your password from here you press tab and then space bar to remember your password and then you log in all right so actually i'm going to do this a little bit more privately so i'll see you in a bit All right, I did the login and everything. There is also a password that you need to type that you're gonna receive uh, to your email address. It's called Steam Guard. And now I want to, to launch Steam, which is going to connect straight to my account because I saved the password, as I showed you before. Now, you have to, to understand something that you actually you created the prefix, the Steam prefix, all right? And on this prefix, you installed Steam. Now you have to understand that if you want to run Steam on this prefix, you always need to tell Wine to use this uh, prefix, all right? If you are not, if you are, for example, if you are running Steam, which is already installed, all right, without specifying a, a wine prefix, basically Steam is going to be uh, to be run from here. All right, and you probably you don't want it. All right, so always specify the correct prefixes. This is very important. If not, wine always go to the dot wine prefix, or it creates prefix this prefix. You know, so you would want to do that. You want to go the correct prefix and then run Steam. All right. So I show you. I will type everything from the beginning. So wine prefix equal home folder dot test. All right. Actually, I don't know if you know how to use the, the terminal, the Linux terminal, but it's easier than it, it than it looks all right for example i'm not gonna write test dash steam but just gonna write t t e or maybe just t and then press tab all right if i press tab it says all right dot t you have test team thunderbird torques thumbnails dot tor browser if i press a it's and then press tab it's going to auto comp this is called auto compile all right so it, you don't need to to type everything this is maybe if if you are not used to the to the terminal you are you don't know this but the terminal looks also scary because there are a lot of stuff to type but it's not true you actually type something and then it auto compiles you know all right the right word pre when prefix wine and then I have to uh, to go where the I have to type the path where the Steam X is. So dot t, all right. Then press tab. Drive C. Steam. Steam. Dot X. As you can see, everything just auto compiles. And now I'm able. To run Steam is connecting to my account. 
and there you have Ooh, yeah you just saw something that's not normal and that happens sometimes so i mean sometimes you have so strange stuff you're you, i mean especially with steam and always and also consider that i'm using a heavily patched wine sometimes you have some strange stuff like as you can see you can see now i mean not everything works 100 percent anyway you will be able to to see to check your library and all your game are here and this also if you are using a vanilla wine or wine staging but if you're using those you probably won't be able to check the store page all right i'm able to check the store page because as i said before in the previous video i'm using wine gaming 9 which has a lot of patches and hacks including a hack that uh, provide me the the store page and the community and my profile and everything else but sometimes it do crazy stuff so it's not like 100% uh, functional you just need to take care sometimes of steam that's it so as you can see here i just installed steam which is a software all right and you know right now how to install software i guess you need to tell before uh, yeah let me show you actually i need to tell or to um, to tell yeah you need to tell a prefix but before you need to set an architecture so if you want to set to set 32 bit architecture you need you must write wine arch equal win 32 if you want to set a a 32 bit prefix if you don't want just type wine prefix if you want to create a new prefix then every i mean you can place it everywhere you want you know there is there is no no problem if in your home folder in your documents folder you can create a a new folder just for the wine prefixes as i do then just a test prefix all right then you have to tell wine to run something or you can just uh you can just wine config you can just run wine config or wine boot and then it's going to create the prefix all right i will stop here and uh, on the next video i'm going to show you how to install uh, some gog games that are uh, I, I consider them i actually use the same you, you you see you will see me using the same uh yeah the same command basically because on steam actually it's a little bit different it's it's easier actually to install game using steam using by using wine so the next video i'm going to show you how to run gog games or any kind of software and on the for on the next video again i'm going to focus on steam games all right that's it Hope it was helpful and see you on the next video.